Hey guys, John with Off-Grid Homesteading. Today is August the 1st, 2018. And uh, hopefully you've had a chance to see the progression of what we're at right now. So what you're seeing is a double set of purlins, radiant barrier. So you have a lower set of purlins that went vertically this direction. And then we put the radiant barrier and stuff on top of that. Um, the, the next set of purlins had two foot on centers in the opposite direction and now the metal uh, that we have down here, we're going to start um, putting that on here. So that's going to be the, uh, we're going to try to get done today. Um, should get that done and then go back to working on the inside. Um, foam company uh, rescheduled us to Tuesday or Thursday of next week. So we got this week to get everything tied up and done on the inside. We might have time for a number of other things, maybe trenching some of our lines, whatever, and then reconnect everything. So we'll see how much we can get done. Thanks for watching and um, tell your friends about the channel and subscribe. Hit the bell if you want to be notified every time we post a message if you haven't been getting these in time. Okay, talk to you soon. Okay, thanks for joining us on this another episode here. Um, the very first thing I did, I needed to do here, was um, because the line was not exactly straight from this bottom right corner to the top right corner, I decided I was going to put up, you know, uh, four or five panels and uh, see if I can align them properly um, just so that uh, we can have this, you know, not this weird jagged edge all the way to the end, but, you know, as as close as I could without making it, you know, glaringly obvious that it's slightly off. But um, so what I did here is just keep adjusting the panels until I could. I just picked a picked a number and looked like a two and a quarter overhang past the eaves uh, for drip edge it seemed to be a good number. Uh, it was actually a total of one, um, about one inch or so. Let me see. I'm trying to think. Two. No, two and a quarter is uh, exactly what it was. So anyway, I threw a couple boards out here. Oh, it was kind of hard to move the stuff around after uh, uh, you know putting the ladder and the board on there, but you know kept the wind from uh, ripping these things off and flying them, flinging them down the road. So um, just kind of looking over here, um, looking at things, adjusting things, adjusting the angles, back and forth, and you know Kelly wanted me to actually you know take all these and try to screw them in all from the bottom I said no I, just, I, I did not want to get on there and stand on these until they were screwed in somewhere then I also had to decide um, how much of a uh, drip edge I wanted on the closest part to us which is the east end and the furthest part away which is the west end so um, just making sure everything lines up good checking it all out everything's looking good so far so now I can uh, get ready to start putting some of these panels in place and uh, get on the roof and start screwing these things down. Um, let's see where we go from here.
Okay, so I had to grab the camera real quick and uh, zoom into <clears throat> this uh, military, mil military helicopter that uh, came in um, doing some training exercise or something. Looks like it was a, a first aid uh, a unit or something like that. There's a cross on the side of it, but I took my um, wide angle lens off of this so I can get a clearer image and I could zoom in uh, better. So let's go see if we can find out any more details or markings on this thing. Um, pretty low flying exercises. Pretty cool though. Yep, it was just coming through. In kind of like a little bit of a low flyby over there. And then kind of curved up and uh, back over to the right and just went down the creek bed uh, back to the lake. catch up with it here in just a second. There it is. I had to zoom out. So, oh well, let's go ahead and get back to what I was finishing up. So, anyway, um, zoomed in the camera, took off the wide angle lens, and just went ahead and continued finishing this up. Um, I did get finished here in just a little bit, and everything actually looked, uh, looked pretty darn good. So, I was pretty happy about the whole thing. So I'll let you get back to watching it, and um, if you have any questions, leave us a comment. Thanks again. All right, let's take a look at the progress. I uh, got the roof on and I wanted to show you the lines from down below. So you got about a four inch overhang right now which should accommodate the siding. And this is what underneath looks like
gonna put some uh, some sort of screening or things down there just to keep um, any bugs from making their nests and things up there but for right now um, it seems like those two layers are going to be working uh, well to kind of keep the bugs out. But I think it looks pretty good. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch up with you next time.